it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying What do you need, General? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my baby. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the molecular relay. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Yeah? Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it, but it's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there, while you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work.
Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Ugh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. <laughs> I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. Together, okay? Okay, Sean? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! 
Damn it. Sean, open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. It's really you. After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. 
I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I'll do whatever it takes. It's worth it. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Hold it right there. Is there a problem? Routine security check. See anything suspicious lately? Suspicious? What do you mean by suspicious? I mean, like dodging my questions. No, nothing to report, sir. If I see something, I'll be sure to come right to you. You do that. I'd hate to find your name on the repurpose list. Almost done. I just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this time. Have you had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plan. Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. So I've had to put everything else to one side.
nice. It's great to have you here. Doc? Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. It's more complicated than I thought. I've heard stories, and the surface sure sounds scary. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. When the lights go down and the stars come out, man just forgets about all his troubles. Nothing to report, ma'am. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. To knock some heads together. What now? We're all looking We're forward to working with on you. the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough You're friction here. as it is Glad between you made us it. and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. If the robotics division was a little more careful, we wouldn't have synths trying to escape. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Advanced Systems just sent a message. They denied that request you put in for subdermal armor. This is sub Excuse me, Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to Father, 
You're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the Synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Rumor is... Advanced Systems will be starting a new Dark Matter initiative soon. Child Synth. It's just remarkable. Has X-576 checked in yet? Not that I'm aware of. All systems nominal. Greetings, ma'am. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Be weird living in a unnecessary fog. power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this. No visible reaction to the K14's compound. We'll start the next trial. The dose will be twice larger. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. 
While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. That seems kind of unnecessary. I assure you, it's necessary. The relay is the only access to the surface that we possess. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Have you seen my girls? I hope they're not getting into too much trouble. Father has accomplished so much. I hope you can appreciate his work as we do. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free Good to, to see you. one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. <sighs> Useless machine. Sometimes Quentin is really mean to me, but my mom says I have to. Operating at full capacity. Hi, Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie, Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it.
reporting oh, status. Clean All floor. functions normal. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you excuses. think? You're clearly defective, and I intend to report You've this. got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Can it wait? Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. We're sucking down a lot of rad sticking around here. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Retrovirus has matured that? nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. So it's good? There's only one way to find out. Protect and serve. All right. Here we go. And now, we wait. 
It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Virgil. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. I'm just glad you're human again. As am I. Though I still have a tremendous amount of work to do. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it in the meantime i have a lot of experiments to run excuse me protect and serve Nobody's crying but me. 